From the moment I opened my eyes, I used to feel like I was playing catch up. Emails, messages, social media, input, input, input. Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. And I think he was on to something. Having a morning routine has changed my life. And it was hard at first, but then it became a rule. Check in with myself before checking my phone. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be complicated. Like, I chose three habits that I can do anywhere that I love doing. I meditate for 10 to 20 minutes. I free write or draw in my journal. I drink my lion's mane tea. It's about be intentional with what I consume in the first part of my day because that's going to set the tone for how I feel. I would say that my day is largely defined by what happens in that first 30 minutes of waking up. Midday, it's go time. Whether that's creative work or adventures, this is the part where I'm 110% in. I want to be a force of nature in everything I do. I want to be better. And realistically, that just takes time. So that's why rule number two for me is honor the unseen hours. It's how I try to remember that what I'm admiring in other people took days and sometimes decades to get right. And I think about that a lot when things get hard. Success for me now is when I can see the value of every situation, even if that means pausing, recharging, and trying again. There are no shortcuts, and there's something fun and liberating in knowing that the reward is within the effort. My third rule for life is to always be outside for sunset. I don't think I've missed more than maybe four in the last year, although sometimes I'm watching them from underwater. It's less about the sunset and more about training myself to appreciate the everyday beauty around me, to never let that sense of awe and gratitude go away. I feel so lucky to be able to have traveled as much as I have, but it's still a good meal, chilling out with friends. These small moments are so special, and in recognizing them, it actually creates the most joy in my life. Like that, that is priceless to me.